Hi everyone and welcome to working with Mrs. Dickey. Today we're going to be looking at patterns in geometry and how they can be used to help find relationships and make predictions and patterning. So I'm going to use the example from your Math Makes Sense workbook which is a growing pattern with toothpicks. And so you can here, see here in frame one there's a square made out of four toothpicks in frame two, there are two squares made out of seven, and so on and so on. So we're going to use some representations to help us here. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to break apart this geometric pattern into a table so that we can help analyze it and figure out what the patterns are. So frames are easy because they're given to us. We have frame one, two, three, four, five. Okay, number of squares. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's nice. They match. And then now we look at the number of toothpicks. So frame one has four toothpicks with a perimeter of four, because you can see one, two, three, four. Frame two has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven toothpicks. And actually, we'll switch over. Perimeter here, we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, frame three has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten toothpicks. And a perimeter of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight toothpicks. Okay, this frame four has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen toothpicks. And a perimeter of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And finally, the last one has a perimeter, or has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen toothpicks, and a perimeter of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And what they mean by units here is pretty much how many toothpicks are on the outside. So you can see that any in toothpick on the inside is not counted because it's not the perimeter of the shape. So there we go. We've broken it down and now we can start looking at patterns. So here's the frame in smaller form, or the table in smaller form. And so that we can start looking for some pattern rules. So we can see that the um, number of toothpicks is three times the number of squares. plus one. Okay, so that's kind of not a pattern rule, but that's just the rule of thumb. That's how it's growing here. So if we look at, say, frame three, take the three squares, we multiply it by three. Okay, because that's the number of squares. So three times the number of squares, which is three, and we, which equals nine. We add one. There we go. That gives us the number of toothpicks. Okay, and if we look at the perimeter here, so we look at perimeter, we can see that perimeter is two times the number of squares. plus two, oops, sorry, plus two. Okay, so let's grab number five here. So here there's five squares, so two times five, because we said two times the number of squares, which is 10 plus two, and that gives us perimeter of 12. Okay, and that helps us when we ask to make predictions. So we can ask, for example, it might ask us to make a prediction of how many toothpicks in the perimeter in the tenth frame. So now that we know it, we know that here the frame number matches the number of squares. So we know in the tenth frame there will be ten squares. And so we can use that information with our rules here. So for toothpicks, we're going to take three times ten, because that's the number of squares we're going to have, and we're going to add one. Okay, so 3 times 10 is 30, plus 1 is 31. So we can tell there will be 31 toothpicks in the 10th frame. Okay, if we want to figure out the perimeter, we're going to take that 
number here, 2 times the number of squares, which is 10, and add 2. So now 2 times 10 is 20, plus 2 is 22. And so we can make predictions and we can also reverse. So if they wanted to say, for example, um, you know, how many, or what frame would have, let's say, uh, 61 toothpicks in it. We could go backwards and say, okay, so now we're going to work backwards. So we know we've 61. Here we go. We'll put that in there. Okay, so now we're going to work backwards. We know they added one, so we're going to have to subtract one. That gives us 60. We know they multiply by 3, so we're going to divide by 3. We're doing that, you know, opposite to dissect it, and that would give us 20. So that tells us that in the 20th frame, it uses 61 toothpicks. Okay, and the same concept can be used to the perimeter. Is you've got to figure out what number here times 3 plus 1 or times 2 plus 2 gives you that desired number because then you can do those predictions instead of if they want you to know what's in, let's say, the 257th frame. You don't want to go and do 1 through 257. That's too much work. That's not working smart. Um, you can use those rules to then go, okay, instead of having to go from 1 to 257, I need to figure out what number times 3 plus 1 gives me 257. Obviously not correct because I just pulled a number in the sky, but that's how these rules help us with patterns of geometry. So hopefully this helps you with your homework this week. It's asking you to make tables, make predictions, and figure out those numbers in the frame. If you need help this week, you can always reach out to me through Google Classroom through our meets Monday, or sorry, Wednesday and Friday at 1, or you can always email me at p 7 at pdsb.net.